What's up, guys? Welcome back to College Kings. We just finished our, our hearing for Penelope. Hopefully, everything went okay. We're going to continue on right from where we were. Let's go. Riley, what's going on? You came. Yeah, you guys had already started before I could get here, so I didn't want to walk in. It sounded pretty heated. How did it go? Ah, uh, sure. The Dean was pretty harsh. I'm not sure how this will go. I'm sorry. Do your best to stay positive. Penelope needs you. I uh, needs all the support she can get at the moment. So how's Penelope? I saw her run into the restroom. She said she was feeling sick. It didn't help that I got here late either. If it was me in there. If it was me, I'm not sure I'd be able to keep it together as well as she has. It's probably hard for her to be optimistic at the moment. Well, she didn't talk much in there, to be fair. I think it's all, uh, it's all too real. She's just now getting hit with all the realization that this could have serious consequences. I really wish there was something more I could do for her. It's a really bad situation. After all, she's only did this to help a friend in need. I guess it's just one of those tough ethical dilemmas that you hear about in class. We should have a verdict here soon. Well, you know, I'm here for you both regardless. I'm going to go check on Penelope and see if there's anything I can do to help settle her nerves. Sounds good. How is she? Not too good. She's really worried. Oh, they did the... Uh, I hope what we did in there helps out. I do too. That damn Dean wouldn't let up. It stopped feeling like a hearing and more like a personal attack about halfway through. The situation was already bad enough. But with how much she attacked Penelope, it really makes me feel even worse with my part in this. Mr. Lee was being very fair and understanding though. I don't even know why that the other guy is here. The art director? I guess that's uh, who that was. He's making me feel really uncomfortable. I heard him say something really weird stuff. Like what? Something about getting me alone. It sent chills down my back. I almost felt like I was going to be sick. Dude was a creep, man. Yeah, that man is an actual creep. Uh, you should probably stay far away from him as possible. I still can't help but feel like this is all my fault. Beating up on yourself isn't going to help. What Penelope needs now is our support. All we can do is be here for her. Thanks, you're right. I'm going to take a minute and breathe and grab some water before we uh, before they call us back in. Look at this guy. Mr. Rose, what are you doing here? Just enjoying the show. My friend getting scolded by, by a school board? Yeah, great show. Listen, Alex. I know we started off on the wrong foot, but I think your friend would be quite glad to know I'm here. Oh yeah? Why is that? Because I have connections, champ. It's always better to have someone like me on your side. Is it? If you're really on our side, you'd be in there helping her. If you really believe you can help uh, her from in there, you're a fool. The real game is played out here. Whatever, man. At least I'm actually doing something. Now if you excuse me, I have a friend to fight for. Why is he just standing there? That's creepy as shit. Okay. That's it, I guess. She should never have been a member of this board. Yeah. She's an adult. I don't see the issue here. You, you are the issue here, Clayton. I do my best to keep a cool tone, but you're ag you're aggravating me. Calm down, Bruce. It's nearly time to wrap this up, Clayton. Let, uh, let the kids know we've made our decision. I'm not a slave. I'm... Okay. Here we go. Oh, dear God. Did I blow it? Please have a seat. Based on testimony, it's clear that you are a loyal and caring friend. Sadly, in this case, your loyalty results in a poor decision. We must take, make it clear that this is a civil case at this point. Charges will not be pressed unless you choose not to comply with the school's agreed uh, upon dis uh, discipline. We acknowledge your great ac academic standing and the benefit you've been uh, to this school. We feel the disregard that it is a poor taste. However, we can't simply let you go f uh, for being a good student. As always preferred, the board has decided to go with a more creative and case-based discipline tailored to the events that have occurred, okay? As punishment for the actions taken, uh, you will be subjected to attend this year's abroad trip to Europe. While attending, you will be uh, you will serve as an assistant chaperone and help with all the chaperones may need. Alongside that, you will be volunteering with a university research company that is in great need of a computer-inclined individual such as yourself for a remainder of the time here at the college. Do you agree? Yes, wow, thank you so much. So we did it? 
pyramid. We did it. Yay. Don't thank us. Thank your friend. He did a very good job representing you. All right. You may uh, you may just want to have a future lawyer in the uh, in the mist. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Since Mr. Lee's a primary chaperone on this trip, he will oversee everything from here. Oh, God. The school considers this matter closed. If you'll excuse me, I have some more important things to attend to. You may leave. So we did it, right? What just happened? We did it. Ah, we won. That's what happened. Woo! All right. This is amazing. Feeling better now, Penelope? You okay? Thank you. Ah, we did it. You're welcome. No, I mean it. Thank you. It's about something. Uh, it's about time someone uh, does something for you. Who knows? Maybe this trip will still be a lot of fun. Alex, you make sure you still have a good time on the trip, won't you, Alex? Alex will make sure you still have a good time on the trip, won't you, Alex? Yeah, man. You know it. I'm glad it ended. Uh, I'm glad it ended in our favor. I'm sorry this all got out of hand. Okay, guys, this has to be the stressful enough. Okay, guys, this has been stressful enough for all of us. Let's put it in the past and make the most of this year. Maybe we can all uh, get together soon and do something a little less stressful. All right. I like that. Anyways, I have to run, so I'll see you both soon. Cheers. I have to get going as well. Thankfully, I still have a class to get to. Ah. Thanks again. Bye. Wow. What a way to start my day. Phew. Let's see what's going. Uh, wow. What a way to start my day. Phew. Let's see who's going to Europe. Nora. Hey, Nora. Are there a lot of people going on the trip? Plenty. I'm surprised we actually got enough people. Let's do it. And yet you don't seem too psyched about it. Well, Chris and I have been having moments, so that could cause unneeded stress. Then there's Chloe. Sounds like you're having a bit of a rough time. Well, I asked Mr. Lee and Miss Rose to put out a sign uh, sign up sheet because I was afraid I wasn't going to get enough people. It kind of got out of hand with everything going on and all just a bit stressful. Facts. I'm sure things with you and Chris will be better in Europe. I mean, it's Europe after all. You know, <laughs> you would think. But he said he's going to be... Dude, every time. You would think. But he said he's going to be glued to his phone the whole entire time. The most I can hope for is good conversation on the plane. I'll be there. Well, I'll be there. Oh, that's something good, huh? I just wish he'd make more of an effort. What about Chloe? Think you two can make up? I don't think being in another country is going to make a difference. Come on. I really think you should try and work things out with her. I mean, you guys are sorority sisters. You're supposed to stick together. And? That doesn't change the fact that she's fake. I can't get along with fake people. What are you, her publicist? No, I just, never mind. Just really like her. Nora. Oh, hey, Charlie. Charlie. Who the hell are you, man? Hey there. Have you two had a chance to meet yet? Nah, dude. No, I don't think so. Well, whilst you guys do that, I'm going to run. Uh, all right, catch you later. Well, nice to meet you. Like Nora said, my name's Charlie. Hey, dude. I'm Alex. So are you a student here? Yeah, exchange student. I've been here since the start of the year, but I'm living off campus, so I don't know that many students. Nor and I have talked a few times, but that's about it as I'm often tied up doing other things. So you're going on this Europe trip? Mr. Lee invited me to go, but I'm not sure if I actually want to. Yeah, I'll be there. What are you so, uh, what are you so unsure of? It's going to be a great time, and there's some really cool events planned. Plus, you can meet all the students you haven't met. Well, I have to admit, that's pretty convincing, huh? I guess I should start packing. Huh, that's pretty. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Are you close with anyone that's going on the trip? Yeah, a few people. I'm closer with some uh, more than the others, though. You said you're closer with some, uh, some more than the others. I can tell you're close with Nora, but who else? Anyone you recommend for me to start getting to know or even avoid? Depends on the company you like to keep. If you're looking to be, if you're looking for more, um, if you're looking for more of a mellow time, then Lauren and Lindsay may be nice to talk to. But if you have a more wild side, uh, then getting to know Amber and Aubrey is probably right up your alley. In terms of people to avoid, it's always best to avoid Grayson. Ha! Huh? What kind of company are you? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, you know, um. Both. I don't know. I guess you could say I'm here for the full college experience. Nora mentioned that uh, 
We'll have some time to do our own thing and explore anything you're looking forward to. Hang with the girls. <laughs> well, we'll be in another country surrounded by beautiful wind. I'm sure you can imagine what uh what I plan on doing, huh? Really though, I just want to have some fun for uh fun no matter what. With that attitude, there's no way this is gonna be a boring trip, huh? Well, as much as I'm enjoying this, I guess I should get uh I should go start packing for the trip. See you around. See you, dude. For sure. Yeah. You must be off campus a lot. I'm pretty sure I've seen him before. He seems pretty nice. Or does he? Chloe! Hey! Hey, cutie. Oh, hey, handsome. What's up? Hey! Not much. Just seeing who's all going on the trip. It's a lot of people. More than I expected. I hope everyone <laughs> gets along, but I doubt it. Uh, me too, you know. I have a few minutes before my class. Want to go outside for a wa uh, walk and talk? Hi, me too. You know, I have a few minutes before my next class. Want to go outside and talk for a bit? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Are you excited for the trip? Of course. I am too. A little nervous knowing that I'm going to be... I am too. I'm a little nervous knowing I'm going to have to be around some people that I don't really get along with. But I still have... Uh, but I'll still have fun. Yeah, no reason not to enjoy yourself. I wonder what will be crazy things that happens. What do you mean? You know how every time you go on a trip, something crazy always happens that everyone talks about? I went on a class trip a couple of years ago, and one of our classmates had a baby. Uh, she didn't even know she was pregnant. What do you mean? That's horrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad at the time. I guess we'll see what people talk about after Europe. Yeah. Maybe you'll trip over the Queen's gown while we're in London. That'll be funny to now and a few years later. If it isn't caught on camera, it never happened. True. Hashtag Chloe caught in 4K. LOL. I'd be mad at you for real if that ever happened. I'll just blame it on someone else and swoop in like the hero. How Prince Charming of you. My lady, ha. Huh? I want to see if there's any new clothes I can get. I don't even know the latest Europe fashion trends. Is that something you keep up with? Oh, back to the good music. It is now. Uh, just don't leave me alone in Europe. There's hardly anyone I can hang out with. I get it. You just want to hang out with me. No one needs to make excuses. Ah, you make good company. Well, sometimes. Ah, well, I won't be good company if I'm not there, so I'm going to go get packing. I need to run, but I can't wait to spend more time with you in Europe. Ooh, see you later, beautiful. Okay. Okay, whoa, whoa. I wish you get some more clothes. Hey, man. So you come home. You usually aren't uh, here around this time and everyone else is out. What are you up to? I'm just getting things situated for the trip. You already packed up? Yeah, I packed last week except for the bathroom stuff. Ah, oh, that was smart. I don't know what I was doing. I thought we should still have another week. Uh, wouldn't be the only one lately that doesn't uh, that doesn't know what they're doing. What do you mean? Uh, what's wrong? It's Nora. Her and I are having some issues. Oh? You don't mind me opening up to you, do you? I just really haven't had a chance to vent. Ah, dude. Go for it, man. Of course, I don't mind. Let me ask you this. Do you think Nora and I are right for each other? I mean, I don't know. I don't... I wouldn't want to try and play matchmaker or anything, so I don't really know. Right, right now, I have no idea. The last time I saw her smile was a homecoming. That was only for a moment, and even that night didn't end well. What's causing you guys to have problems? It's a whole mess, really. I love Nora more than anything. She's been there for me in, in ways you can't even explain. I've known her forever. I mean, we've been dating since high school, but ever since I became a Wolves president, it's like I'm being torn two ways. It seems impossible for me to do everything I need to do for the frat and still give Nora the attention she deserves. I've tried explaining to her that this is only just temporary, but that didn't really make things better. I get it. Sometimes it's hard to know what the right thing is to do. Right thing to do is... But you can, uh, but can you blame her for being upset that you're prioritizing the frat? That's just it. I can't. I completely understand her point of view, and I wish things were different, but they can't be while I'm president. 
talk to her. Sounds like the best thing to do is just sit down and talk with her. Believe me, I've tried. We just see things differently. There's no getting her to understand. All I can do is hope she hangs here, uh, hangs in there while my time with the frat lasts. She may not be willing to make that sacrifice. What then? Then I lose the love of my life. My grandfather used to say, we can love people all we want, but if you can't provide for those we love, then we don't love them at all. This frat opened so many doors for me. Job opportunities, leadership programs, scholarships. All I need to do is finish what I've started. Does Nora know all that? I uh, know all this. Besides, so yes, but she does. Uh, she she doesn't care. She feels I can still do better, and that I'm using the frat as an excuse. Maybe on the trip you'll have a chance to get the spark back. I wish, but I don't think that's going to happen either. How come? I'm only going on the trip because I need to graduate. Otherwise, I'd be staying here to take care of things for the frat. We have some major things coming up. I'm going to be spending most of the time, uh, most of the trip on the phone. Uh, with Sebastian, and I don't think that's gonna solve our, our solve our issues. Cheers. Damn, man. You sure there's no way uh, for you to take a break? Well, I slack off now. Everything's uh, done up to this point would be meaningless. I've set an example of what it means to lead the wolves, and I won't ruin that for a vacation. Sounds like your mind's made up. Maybe. I mean, I'm still confused. I just need her to understand. Does she not understand how much I love her? I've never known you to be figured out. Uh, I've never known you to not figure something out. I'm sure this will be no different. I hope you're right. Thanks for the talk, Alex. I appreciate it. Of course, man. Anytime. Damn. That was rough. That actually scared me. Hello? Hey, Alex. It's Riley. I'm over here at the cafe, and Stevens is trying to clear my head. Uh, about some things. I thought it'd be nice to just talk to someone about it. Mind coming down? No, I don't mind at all. I'll be right there soon. Okay, cool. See you there. Or right, thanks. See ya. Thanks, right? Oh, okay, later, later, Riley. Hey. Hey. So how do you want to do this? A little small talk first and just dive right in there? I don't want to keep you forever, so I'll just say what's on my mind. I'm kind of nervous about the trip, actually. Why? Wait, let me rephrase that. I'm kind of nervous about flying to Europe. What's got you so freaked out? I've never flown before, and I don't know what to expect. Will I get sick? <laughs> Are there going to be a lot of issues with the plane? I literally know nothing except for the things I've seen in movies. And in movies, there's no middleman. It's either the plane crashes or people are enjoying themselves in their first class. And although one of those uh, would be nice. And although one of those would be nice, it won't be uh, happening. So I really hope the plane doesn't crash. Cheers. Reassure. Don't scare her. If you need someone to hold your hand the whole flight, I will. But you really have nothing to worry about. I've been on multiple planes and know many others that have flown. And we've never had any problems. I just want... I just watch movies and sleep the whole time. Be really honest here. Uh, be, be really honest, though. What's the worst thing about it? Well, the elevation messes with your ears a bit. Kind of feels like you're underwater. You get rid of it by yawning, but your ears sort of pop. For myself and most people, that's the worst part. Your ears pop? Does it hurt? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, Riley. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It's just an unusual feeling. I'm sure you've popped your knuckles before. It's like that, but uh, <laughs> with your ears. Okay, I guess that doesn't seem so bad. See? Nothing to stress over. Alright, I guess I shouldn't worry about it. I'm going to talk to Amber, though, because I know she tried to scare me with her. Make sure you tuck your feet under the seat so you don't fall out, Chuckles. Uh, yeah, talking to Amber about your fears probably wasn't a good idea. If I had never flown before and talked to Amber before my first time, I'd be nervous, too. She is that kind of power. We should call her Maleficent, haha. <laughs> What's Maleficent? Oh my god, look it up later. Okay. I know, uh... I know a way you could get over your fear of flying pretty easily. Really, how? Should try that little indoor skydiving thing. That'd be cool. What? You know that thing with the giant air tube that lets you float? Alright, I saw a commercial about that. It did look kinda... I did think it looked kinda fun. 
Well, it's safe and probably more stressful than an actual plane ride. Maybe less stressful for you, haha. This guy. Charlie, hey, Alice. Is this one of those close friends you were telling me about? I love her hair. I love your hair. Is that your natural color? Oh, thank you so much. I'm Riley. And yeah, uh, it's natural. You're a friend of Alex? Yeah, well, I don't know. Actually, huh? Would you say we're our friends, Alex? Sure, dude. Sure, of course. Charlie and I actually just met this morning. Well, it's nice to meet you, Charlie. Love your energy. So positive. Isn't my pleasure... <laughs> It's my pleasure. Really, I was just uh, telling Alex I needed to find some friends on campus, and here you are, haha. Ah, uh, yes, here I am, lol. Charlie here is actually going on the trip with us. Oh, yay. Now I won't be stuck with just Alex, huh? Oh, what? Wow. Alex must be one of the hell of a guy to consider you surrounded uh, by all these amazing people. Amazing? Definitely not. Cheers. How come I've never bumped into you before? I'm actually an exchange student, and I currently stay off campus. But honestly, I would have made more of an effort to meet people on campus if I had known you guys were here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would have explained a lot. Well, I'm really glad you're going on the trip with us. That'll just that'll give us the perfect chance to get to know each other. I'm looking forward to it. I actually wasn't going to go, but Alex convinced me. Well, in that case, thank you, Alex. Haha. <laughs> I should finish getting ready for the long flight tomorrow. See you guys. Peace. Later, man. Someone found a new best friend. I don't say it like that. He's sweet. Maybe, uh, maybe girls would call you sweet too if you paid them compliments every once in a while. What? I do give compliments. I give you them all the time. What do you want? Relax, I'm just teasing you. Is someone jealous of the new kid? Yeah. I'm not jealous. Just surprised to see you hit it off like that. Maybe you thought he was cute. Did you? <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here, and now the thing. And now that I think about it, flying is the last thing on my mind. So thank you. You're welcome. See you around, Riley. See ya. I'm not jealous. I just I don't know. Just see who that is, or see what that was. Emily, we need to talk. What's up? Meet me at the park. Oh God. Okay. Years. Let's go see what that's all about. Going to the park. Emily. You want to sit down? I'm fine. This won't be long. Oh, cheers. What's going on? I feel like the best thing to do is just come out and say it. We can't see each other anymore. Okay. Where's this coming from? I'm tired of uh, seeing you with other girls. Call me jealous or whatever, but I, can, I can't be around anymore uh, with you doing all that. Cheers. I see the flirting. I see the way you look at them. I see way too much. I can't handle it. Okay. A friend of mine has been giving me a lot of good advice recently, and I think it would be really nice to start listening to him. That's fine. What do you mean, that's fine? I mean, that's fine. You don't want to see each other anymore. That's fine. Your choice. You're not even going to try and change my mind? Uh, obviously, your mind's made up. I know you're going to Europe trip, so don't expect me there. Okay. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. Goodbye, Alex. Bye. That was sudden. See ya. That is... Josh, man. We getting fucked up tonight. Who? You and me. Meet me at the bar at Stevenson. There's a lot of bars on Stevenson. The Hive, duh. Josh, we can't even get in there. With these fake IDs, we can. Can't stand up. I still have tons of stuff to do tonight. Yeah, no, bye. Really, bro? That's lame. No, for real. I have to pack for the trip. Whatever, man. Cheers, dude. I'm gonna go home straight to bed. Okay. I'm tired as hell. I'll pack tomorrow. Actually, I should text Riley real quick and see if she wants to go to that thing tomorrow. What thing? You want to catch that indoor skydiving thing tomorrow before we do the trip? I knew I was forgetting something. I actually made plans with Charlie already. Sorry. It's fine. Night. Night. Cheers. It's kind of weird. First, I have no idea who this guy is, and now he's in my circle? Huh. Size. I'm not going to stress about it. I just need to relax. Getting some sleep right would be nice. Ah, uh, snap. What is that? 
Aubrey. All right, guys, I'm going to end the gameplay here. I think we're closing in on the, the last part of Act 2, so I was hoping I'd get it in this video. I think there's still a little bit left. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think down below. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. See what you guys are thinking so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm seeing you in the next video. Raise your rod. Peace out.